Hello Divination and welcome. Today's tutorial is about fixing your responsive navigation in Divi. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to fix this. The solutions we're going to use to fix our responsive navigation in Divi are pretty much going to be some settings in our header settings and also some CSS code, which if you'd like to follow along, I will link in the show notes below. So let's start off with the solution number one. So firstly, what you want to do is to go into your dashboard and then go to DV and click on theme customizer. So here, what you need to do is to go to header navigation, click on uh, primary menu bar and make this full width. By making this full width, it means that when you use this on several devices, you won't find the stacking that you normally get when you don't make this full width. So once that's done, just click on save and publish and pretty much you're done. The next solution is quite straightforward. All we need to do is to adjust the logo height and also the text size. So let's disable this and let's come over here to our text size. So this can be reduced. So if you reduce it, you'll notice that um, you've added more space, right? So that reduces the stacking when you use your website on different devices. So the next part is to reduce our logo uh, max height. So this you can also play around with and then also the menu height. So pretty much this is all you have to do to um, increase the space on your, nav on your navigation area. The next solution is to display the mobile menu at new breakpoints. Now to achieve this, we need to use some CSS code. So as I mentioned before, the CSS code is in the show notes. So if you'd like to use this code, you can go ahead and do that on our blog post. Right, so what you need to do here is to come over here to in fact, we need to save and publish. And then we need to go back to additional CSS. So we just need to click a few steps back, click on additional CSS, and then scroll all the way right to the bottom and add this CSS code. Okay, so once you've entered, uh, you've entered the CSS code here, all you have to do is to click on save and publish. So in this example, our breakpoint is at 1024 pixels. So what would happen is when when the browser detects that size, it will then turn into a hamburger icon. So this is a solution that you could use. It's quite clean and also quite straightforward to apply. The next solution is to adjust the menu style at a certain breakpoint. Now this solution is probably the best because it allows you to have most control over the menu at certain breakpoints. So again, what we're gonna use here is the CSS code, which we'll need to copy and paste into our custom CSS. So again, I'm going to come over here to my additional CSS and paste the CSS code. Click on save and publish. And now when we click our different views, we can see now that our hamburger icon is showing. And if you were to drag this browser, you'd see that um, the breakpoints will show at the specified sizes. The next option you can use is really, really cool. And these are the header styles. So if you come over here to header format, and uh, right now we're on the default. So there are quite a few to select from. So we can use a slide in, centered, inline and logo. So let's just go through these and I'll show you how you can actually make your navigation uh, much better. So let's click on centered. So if we click on centered here, we can see now that the logo is now on the top and our menus, our menus right here at the bottom. So this is one way you could actually um, apply this uh, technique. And But the ideal situation here is to actually make this logo much bigger because as you can see, once I chose this centered style, the logo has become much smaller. So all you need to do is to adjust the sizes, make it slightly bigger. And you, also, you may also want to increase the size of the text. Right, so let's move on to our next one. And this is a centered inline logo. Right, again, this one is quite straightforward. You can see here that the structure is now much, much better. And um, we have reduced the space by adding this logo in the middle. And as I, as I mentioned before, you can actually go in and do your adjustments based on your layout, because there may be cases where you don't have a lot of text in your menus, so you can actually adjust this accordingly. Now let's move on to the slide in, and this is one of my favorite ones. So uh, let's select slide in. And now you can see that uh, when we click this hamburger icon, our menu now comes on the side. So this is actually, as I mentioned before, my favorite one because 
uh, it's very clean so on the get-go you get this hamburger icon so no menus but most people now know that when you click the hamburger the hamburger icon this is where the menu is so when you click on it it slides in and then you can now navigate so let's move on to the final one which is the full screen so when you select full screen what happens is when you click on the hamburger icon all our links now come on the middle of the page and this again is a really cool way of showing your navigation and you can also customize the colors here based on colors which match your brand and to get out of this menu you all, all you have to do is to click on the top right here where you, where you see this x and that's it so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms by doing so you'll be notified every time we release new videos until next time thanks for watching and see you soon